Do Border Collies shed? Yes. If you want to know just how much they shed and about the differences in their types of coats, as well as some tips on good basic grooming practices, then stay tuned. My friend Janine is a certified groomer and usually I take my dogs to her about every two to three months. During this session, she groomed my three dogs, Keegan, Skeen, and Raven. You can get your puppy hugs and your grooming done at the same time. <laughs> can you guess which pile of fur came from which dog? You'll see at the end. The most common coat types in Border Collies is the rough coat and the smooth coat. Rough coats are coarser on the outside with feathering on the chest, stomach, and legs. They can have a dense, often soft undercoat. A rough coat can be long or medium length. Rough coats can shed year round, especially with dogs that are indoors, but they do tend to shed more in the spring and the fall when the seasons are changing. They will lose their winter coat in the spring in preparation for warmer weather, then they will shed their summer coat as their thicker winter coat comes in. Every dog sheds a little bit differently, some more than others. The other type of Border Collie coat is a smooth coat, which is much shorter. The smooth coat also has an undercoat and a top coat, but without much feathering. Smooth coats will still shed, but because the fur is so much shorter, it can be less noticeable. They're generally easier to groom because the short hair just doesn't collect the dirt or debris that the feathering on the rough coats will collect. The fur also dries more quickly and just doesn't mat very easily. Border Collies are moderate shedders, but this will vary a lot between individual Border Collies. There are breeds that shed a lot more than Border Collies, like the Alaskan Husky, the German Shepherd, and the Samoyed. For example, this is my friend Heidi with her dog Yeti after a grooming session. <laughs> this is pretty epic. Yeah. So it's all about perspective, right? If you want to check out Heidi's channel, it's linked in the description below. Some Border Collies have thicker coats that are more prone to matting. These are dogs that tend to get matted around the ears and under the arms and in the tail area. If they aren't groomed regularly, these mats can cause problems. Shaving a Border Collie's coat is generally not recommended. If you shave a Border Collie's coat, then you expose the dog to a risk of overheating and sunburn in hot weather. The top coat has tougher hairs that protect your dog from the sun's rays and from bug bites and other elements. The fur acts as insulation from the heat, so when you shave it, your dog loses that protection. Something important to remember is that dogs don't sweat like we do. They cool themselves by panting, so their fur plays a big role in heat regulation. So, how often should a Border Collie be brushed? Brushing your Border Collie two to three times a week really helps, not only with finding an excess fur in your house, but brushing is good for circulation and for conditioning your dog to touch. The sooner you start gently brushing your pup, the sooner it becomes part of a normal routine. And of course, when you're done, make sure to have a big treat party. I bring my dogs to Janine every two to three months to get rid of the excess coat and clip toenails and get rid of any mats. If I wait longer than three months, mats can actually start to cause problems. If mats get tight to the skin, they can prevent proper airflow and dogs can get irritations or hot spots. Also, there's more risk of ticks, fleas, mites, and other pests that can go undetected. And mats prevent us from seeing changes in our dog's skin. Checking for lumps and bumps is also good practice. Which tools are best for brushing your dog? Basic tools are the slicker brush, a rake, a metal comb, and a dematting tool. If I find some good links for some of these grooming products or for similar products, I will link them in the description below. So, which pile of fur came from which dog? You guessed it. If you're curious about the Border Collie breed, then check out this Border Collie 101 playlist to find out more. See you there!